This conference will now be recorded. So good morning to all of you. This is uh, Mahesh Kumar again, and we are just going to start today the EC2 instances. And uh, the previous lectures, we have, uh, you know what, uh, uh, talking about some uh, architecture part, uh, disaster recovery part, high availability of the instances of uh, the architecture part of the particular AWS. So today we are going to start some, uh, you know what, the core services of uh, AWS. The core services of AWS basically uh, is the EC2 and uh, the storage part, the ad and the database part, and the IEM the security part. So they are the core uh, services of uh, AWS. So uh, <clears throat> Elastic uh, Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud is also a core services core services of uh, AWS. Uh, so I'm just going to share you my screen. So just take a look at the screen and then we can go further. Yes, is it? Uh, uh, are you able to see the screen? Uh, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. So uh, the EC2 is basically uh, uh, resizable compute capacity, complete control of your computing resources, reduces the time required to obtain and boot new server instances to minutes. So AC2 basically a server where you can, you know, create on the cloud, okay, on different, different uh, globe, uh, <clears throat> uh, globalized environment. We can say that different, different locations, regions you can create, different, different availability zones so you can create the different, different AC2. So they are the number, different, different types of AC2 instances you can create. And also uh, the different uh, regions you can create and different availability you can, you, zones you can create. So it is uh, the difference in the net, in the you know what in the cloud computing. If your instances goes down in, from the one region and another and the same region, the EC2 instances you can run at same time. Okay, so move further. So a uh, scale capacity as per your computing requirement change. So you can just uh, once you're going for the EC2 instances, you can. Uh, scale up as per your capacity, right? Pay only for capacity that you actually use. So pay as you go model applied on the same. Choose Linux or Windows platforms, whatever you like it. So in the Windows, uh, different different <coughs> Windows is available. 2012, from 16 or different SQL, different servers are available. Linux, CentOS or uh, different uh, Linux operating systems are available. So I will let you know once we are going for the uh, practical stuff and deploy across AWS regions and availability zones for the liability. So Amazon EC2 provides the following features. For, um, virtual computing environments uh, known as instances, right? So uh, once you're going for a uh, cloud computing, so uh, <coughs> things is uh, called instances, virtual instances. It means that your EC2 environment, EC2, your virtual servers, called instances into this. And uh, pre-configured uh, pre templates for your instances, also known as Amazon uh, machine images, that packages for bits so you need for your server system your additional softwares. Okay, so AMI images because uh, AWS and also Azure or any different clouds are providing their uh, images at the same time, so you can use their own their own images to uh, create uh, operating systems into the EC2 instances. Various configurations of CPU, memory, storage, and networking capacity of your instances known as instance types. <clears throat> so uh, instance types is basically is called that uh, what type of configurations you require into your EC2 instances. Suppose you would like to change some memory kind of stuff. You require some high CPU utilization of the EC2 uh, instances. And suppose you require some storage. Suppose you require some networking stuff, better networking, networking stuff. So you can choose uh, whatever, uh, what type of instances, different different type of instances in the same. Okay, and as per uh, your instances types, you can just pay for it. Secure log information for your instances using key pairs, AWS stores public key and you store your private key in the uh, secure place. So key pairs is your password kind of stuff, okay? So it is secure and it is stored in the AWS cloud specific place. Okay, move further. So easy to feature storage volumes of capacity that data that's deleted. Uh, 
uh, storage volumes for temporary data uh, that's related to an stop or permanent your instances known as instance store volumes. So uh, the other two uh, things you will got it uh, once you are going to create your two instances stop and terminate uh, uh, terminate uh, the your instances. Permanent instance it means that everything is closed. Suppose you have uh, um, taking the storage from the different uh, EBS volumes kind of stuff. So once you're going for the terminal, it will stop everything, right? And a stop your EC2 instances stop, but your your storage will be running at the same time. Okay, so your billing of your storage is, is, is coming is running same time. So you have to make sure that your uh, your EC2 instance should be terminate at the same time okay so it is known as known uh, instance store volumes you can store your volumes in different places persistent storage uh, volumes for your data using amazon elastic block store known as amazon, amazon uh, abs volumes abs volumes are those volumes where we can create the ssd solid state drives so we can uh, add, add input output high input output suppose you require a server where the high read and write Things are available. The queries has, he has to respond like a web server, so you can use your Amazon ABS volumes like SSD. So this is a high read write you can easily. Multiple physical locations for your resources such as instances and Amazon ABS volumes known as regions and availability zones. So the region it means that your your physical locations like uh, Europe locations, your China, uh, Asia Pacific locations, your Europe locations. Availability zones where there are <clears throat> two or more data centers available into the uh, one specific region, right? In the India, there is a Mumbai location for AWS, so you can uh, uh, create your data center in a Mumbai location of AWS. A firewall that enables you to specify the protocols, ports, and secure IP ranges that uh, uh, that can uh, reach your instances using security groups. So we, as we are talking earlier, that we also created a security groups earlier. So security groups is like your firewall, uh, uh, you know what, uh, policies kind of stuff, where you can al allow the traffic to come. Suppose uh, you are using, uh, we are going to create the EC2 instances of uh, Windows platform, right? So we have to enable the 3389 port number to enable to get, getting the RDP session of the, uh, the Windows from the outside world, right? Suppose uh, if you are using, uh, uh, creating the ec2 instance of linux based so you have to uh, access the server from the ssh and ssh port number is 22 so you have to enable you have to allow the traffic from the security groups so you have to modify the security groups at the same time right and static ip version 4 uh, address for dynamic cloud computing known as elastic ip addresses so uh, in this uh, aws environment you have a specific ip address for you can go for the dynamic IP address according to the instances all the time, right? So you, uh, you have two options. It is dynamically provided by the AWS at the same time for the resources to IP address at version 4, or you can uh, provide the same range of IP address stat statically as well. But the range is defined by the AWS all the time. Okay. So, uh, this is again one thing is metadata known as tags that you can create and assign to your Amazon is to the sources, right? So tag it means that what type of asset tag you can provide. So you can you can easily uh, uh, understand when uh, what what was the system is all about because if you're creating more number of systems instances like uh, 300, 400 and 500 number of or more than that, then you have to uh, uh, you know what. Uh, uh, we need, need to understand which 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 was the instance we are talking about. So you can just for your intelligence, for your your, your understanding what which server is all about. So you can provide the tags. So it is it's called the metadata is all about. Virtual networks you can create that you are logically isolated from the rest of the AWS cloud. <coughs> Sorry. And, and that you can optionally con connect to your own network known as virtual private cloud. Suppose you would like to. Uh, uh, Access your instances from the outside, or which is the QR, which is required the secure uh, way to connect. So you, you can just go for the virtual v, VPN cloud. You can create uh, VPC cloud. You can create, and you can provide a number of policies in the same time. Okay, so, so virtual private virtual private cloud because you just connect your VPC to into the EC2 instance at the same times and provide a specific policies, private or pri public. 
okay which is accessible from the outside world or which is accessible from the inside the world okay so that is all about we can create and uh, tag into the particular ec2 instances once you once Mahesh, you're going for uh, yes yes i have one question here uh, like uh, if we terminate any instance uh, then whether means uh, it, it it is possible to means uh, open that instance again is if you terminate the same instance uh, you can open it yeah whether whether we can open it and use it is it possible no. to open it no 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 we, if we are terminated it, it, we, we cannot open it if we are stopped then we can uh, we can we can run it again okay because the instance is available but if you're going to terminate the things then you, you can't because it, at but, the same uh, time because the storage is also uh, uh, deleted at the same time okay. but it will and be little time because it once you delete it it is uh, goes the queries to the aws team and uh, they are just going to delete uh, the same time okay and if we stop that instance then the uh, means storage storage will be running background right yes 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 you're right be okay. because why it is required because uh, aws uh, what the thing about because uh, you are using the uh, you know what abs volumes at the same time ssd high uh, high input output okay so uh, once you're going to stop the uh, instances your instance is is you know what stopped but uh, at the same time your storage is working so that your 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 billing is, is generated at the same time so is so the best options you can just terminate the things and you can also uh, release the volume from the uh, from the particular instance same time so once we're going for the you know what practical sort of steps uh, after this particular uh, theoretical part then we will i will let you know that what 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 we can the things we can do it okay 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 so uh you know, the det determine uh, the aws region in, in which you want to launch the each two instances. So first of all, once you're going for the, which, which, uh, which regions you have to create the each two instances. So it is better to uh, uh, go for it. First of all, create the architectures, the pictures on the documentation part. So where, where our first uh, primary data centers, where is our second data, data centers, where is our third data centers. So it means that we can, we can say that it is a three tier approach. Okay, data center three tier approach. So it is cross DC implementation. It is a single DC implementation. It, how is going with the application? How it is going to the, your synchronization of your servers? Where is your disaster recovery plan? Okay, you have to create. How can you create your uh, high availability kind of stuffs? So uh, you know, we, you can you you know what uh, <clears throat> your instances should be always be in the availability set. Availability set, or also it is a lot of balancing. Uh, you have to configure at the same time. Okay, so we will uh, talk later on all sort of stuff is all about and launch in Amazon, uh, Amazon EC2 instances from the pre configured Amazon machine AMI images. Uh, choose an instance type uh, based on CPU, memory, storage, and network requirements. So, once you're going for what kind of because if you are uh, working on a system, so uh, company and uh, your company uh, is all about uh, the uh, online gaming, so you require a high CPU kind of stuff, right. And if if your company uh, servers require a high memory kind of stuff like uh, you know what uh, <clears throat> the queries which is coming from the MySQL or different kind of servers, so it is uh, it is have to respond as soon as possible at the same time. So require high memory kind of stuff and same like a storage some like a network, like so you can choose your instances whatever the you know what types configure network IP uh, network IP address security groups storage volumes tags and key pairs we will uh, you know what create a, a you know what a server after that then, then all sort of things this has come to the picture so uh, we have also uh, also available same time so on demand instances pay by the hour reserved instances purchase at the significant discount up to 75% instances are always available one uh, one year to three years uh, terms and conditions from the AWS or on the support instances um, uh, highest buyer uh, uses instances at a significant discount up to 90% spot 
block supported and dedicated host physically host is fully dedicated to your on your instances bring uh, your pre socket pre code or per vm software license to reduce the cost okay so these are the, these are the, the terms where we can use uh, what type of purchasing options because uh, if you are going for the reserved instances okay so one to one to three years you will find out this if you're talking about the reserved instances you have the one to three years uh, you have terms and conditions and you can you know what saving uh, you will got the 75 percent of discount okay but it, it depend on the your company is going for this particular things because you have to uh, purchase for the, at least three years and uh, you have to provide the price of three years same times okay and on demand instances pay by the hour if you are the, uh, suppose you are working in a company where uh, you don't know the, the, exactly the capacity of your hardware of these instances right so you can go for it because if you have the capacity uh, okay you are required for three or four or four servers and you are the online gaming industry or you are you are a online marketing company like it's snap deal or uh, or flip card or different kind of stuff so you can go for it this kind of things but these are instances okay and if you are a company where uh, we have to just uh, <clears throat> require some you know what uh, um, the the festival kind of stuff so and you have the specific time that and on the december we require a high capacity of the particular stuff so you can just on the spot instances and you can 90 percent up to discount as per requirement and dedicated host you can just dedicated you know what uh, uh, physically host is fully dedicated to um, instances bring your uh, socket and it is required you dedicated because because we have if you're running a company where you require a, a domain controller so it is a dedicated host you have to apply it okay so uh, in the licensing cost you will just uh, get some discounts over the over there at the same point of time so it is depend on the what kind of uh, uh, the capacity management you are good are doing good <coughs> sorry so how effective your capacity management how effective uh, you are just providing into the company it is more beneficial to your company to get uh, a cost effective solution at the same point of time so uh, the AMI images we are just talking about an AMI machine images is a template that contains a software configurations from an AMI, you launch instances which are copies of AMI running as virtual servers in the cloud. Amazon publishes many AMIs contains common software configurations at public use. In addition, members of AWS developer community have published their own AMIs. You can also create your own AMIs uh, during the enable as quickly as possible start. So why the the, the Amazon is providing their own images? If you have if you ha have your own uh, images, then uh, is uh, AWS is supported or not supported? This is the million dollar question is all about. So uh, my dear friends, if you're talking about the machine images, because uh, um, Amazon is also provide a, a different different kind of Im machine images like a Ubuntu uh, flavors, like Windows flavors. So you can use it at the same point of time of um, Amazon machine images. And if you are using your own uh, images like Windows or uh, Windows flavors or Linux images, they will not support you at the same time because it's your own uh, OS images and they don't know it's all about what you have configured on into this or what they are what you what you have did it into the particular your own images but if you're using their own images then they know that how how it is going what the code is all about and how to support the same time right so uh, my advice to all of you uh, once you're going for the uh, AWS or Azure or different cloud. So uh, most of the time you can you are just going to use the the uh, app, the cloud provider images always because uh, they will support you at the same time and it, it is easy to configure at the same times. And uh, the AWS, if you are taking the uh, premium support of the AWS, they will support you at the same most of the time because they they know that they are they are images you are using it. They are easy to instances you are using it and different different services so you are also going to use it so it is easy to troubleshoot uh, once uh, once any issues comes to the picture <coughs> so your windows instances keep running until you stop or terminate them or until they fail uh, if an instance fails you can launch a new one from the ami instances okay and you can also launch multiple instances from an AMI uh, shown in the 
following. So you machine images, so you can create a number of instances at the same time. Once we're going for the practical approach, we it is very easy to understand. Um, at a, or um, the root volume of the instance exa example and operating systems and uh, application server and applications launch permissions that are controlled which AWS can be used as AMI launch instances a block device mapping the specific volumes to attach the instances that is launched launched so it's like a practical approach we will go for data stored in the EBS volumes can persist independently from the life of the instance storage is present Amazon is to instance store data stored on a local uh, um, instance store persists only as long as the instances are live so until unless when you uh, stop or if you delete your instances okay the uh, these two instances storage available storage is empathical okay so uh, this is kind of abs volumes which is talking about is two instances we have to create some is different different easy to instances uh, and mapping the block device and this is a different different store we can create it and the dude volumes one what boot volumes and different different volumes we can edit so dude volumes has the windows operating systems or whatever the first drive the primary drive and these are the some secondary drive this one and this, this one we can edit so abs volumes means that uh, you can just create a secondary drive at the same time <clears throat> So characteristics stored for the root drive is Amazon EBS uh, backed and instance stored backend usually one minute and usually takes five minutes, right? EBS uh, uh, backend volumes. Size limit is 16 and terabytes and it's a 10 uh, terabyte. So um, the, the questions were basically which uh, volumes we can we have to add to our systems, okay? So if you uh, if you have added the ABS uh, drives, right? Because it's a SSD type of things you can add it into the, your uh, uh, system, and then it will be you know what uh, using for your high availability and uh, you know what um, high read and write op options available. And it is uh, Amazon com comes with the different different you know what uh, primary volumes, so you can also add it. And but but there's some different size limit as well. So root uh, data persistence, the root volumes is uh, deleted when the instances terminate. Data uh, on any other Amazon EBS volumes persists after instances termination. Because if you have, uh, you know what, you have added some different EBS volumes to your uh, instances, right? And you have terminated at the same time. So the terminated volume is, uh, is deleted. But if you have added some extra to uh, secondary drives, two or three, Right, so it, we have to go for the terminal at the same time from the storage part. Right, you have to go for the deletion of the secondary drive as well, same time. The you know what the if the boot volumes is terminated, okay, but you have to go for the secondary drive also terminated at the same time. Data on any instance stores volume persists only during the life of the instances, and the data is also available same time. Charges instances usage Amazon EBS volumes usage and storing your AMI and Amazon EBS snapshots. So you can also create same things. Charges. These are the some things you can go to go for the charges. Instance used for the storing your AMIs in Amazon S3 can be stopped and can be cannot be stopped. Okay. <clears throat> so these are the some major characteristics of the particular thing. So uh, instance life cycles is a machine machines launch and you have to go to the pending machine and then you have to go to the running conditions and you're just rebooting the things and stopping and then the, uh, the st stopping instance setting shutting down and the terminate. So these are the some options available on once you're going for the launching an instance. You can um, uh, running instance uh, running and shutting down terminated and rebooting stage and stopping stage and your know, stopped instances okay the h2 instances types are optimized for different uh, use cases and come in multiple sizes that allows you to op optionally scale resources to your workload requirements aws uses intel xeon processor and uh, providing customers high performance values consider uh, the following uh, choosing your instances for count memory size storage and network performance cpu so the matter of fact that uh, once you're going for any uh, ec2 instances so you will got a different different uh, you know what types of instances as per your cpu usage as as per memory usage as per network usage 
So it is depend on that uh, your company and you that what kind of uh, EC2 instances you're choosing it, right? Because at different different uh, in what uh, types is you use for different different way. So general purpose you will go for it compute uh, optimizations and storage and input output optimized GPU enabled and memory size optimizations. So some of the uh, <coughs> EC2 requires high high memory utilization, right? Suppose you are uh, running a you know what uh, <coughs> a, a, a database server. Uh, into your uh, AWS environment, and it was it is require a high high memory utilization. It will have to uh, you know what un understand the query and and same time it is forwarding to the different uh, uh, different environment. So you have to go for the high memory utilizations. GPU environments. Suppose your company required a you know what high gaming console, online gaming console. So you have to go for always with the high GPU enabled, high graphics kind of stuff. We can say that and uh, so sometimes some of the ec2 instances required some high compute cpu utilization so go for this kind of things and general purpose it, it is it's a you know what uh, the price is very less but it is also required uh, what kind of things require same point of time so there are different different flavors uh, into the aws the first thing is different different flavors of operating systems like linux or windows platform you can use it the second thing so what type of uh, you know what uh, um, EC2 instance, you are going to use it uh, like high compute, uh, high memory utilization, high GPU, storage kind of things. The third thing is basically what uh, the choose, what kind of pricing you're going to choose it. It's a desired instance, it's a on demand instance, it is a uh, you know what, uh, uh, what on, on demand or it is a you know general purpose kind of stuff. So the pricing part, the types of the instances and uh, what kind of instances you are choosing it is it, it's also important that is why we have to uh, uh, choose our instances very wisely once you once you are going for and you know what uh, doing all sort of things so all sort of things we will just uh, going for the further once we are going for the practical sort of things so uh, the, the understanding the logic behind it you have to understand all the all the time because once you're going for the uh, the practical sort of stuff it's very easy to know that yeah this is creating uh, only two or three minutes will be, uh, you know, what going uh, uh, to creating an instance. But the logic behind it, the the you know what architecture is also important at the same time. So I uh, we will move forward to see. Yes, family type. So this is a C4. This is a type C4 and the X large compute optimized. This is a family compute optimized. This is generations of C4 and the family type. This is also. So this is the name of uh, your instance at the same times, right? So you can easily understand that this is this is about your family and this is what type of server you're choosing it, okay? Of your com of, of your compute. So uh, this is general this is general purpose. This is memory utilize compute opti optimize. So instance types is this one uh, am large and these virtual CPU you can choose it two or three for two two different different types of and memory relation 7.5 15 7.3.7 <clears throat> so the images are also available and what type of server you're choosing it okay or uh, there's a pricing uh, also uh, mentioned pricing calculator also available in the AWS so you can you have multiple options what kind of uh, operating system you're choosing it what type of server you're choosing it on demand on the spot reserved instances you're choosing it uh, do you require some high cpu utilization do you require some high cpu usage do you require some uh, different kind of you know, inst instances so all things are available on the aws so it's it's depend on the uh, the, the you know what corporate environment what kind of uh, operating system you're choosing it and how do you use it more effective because the purpose of this all sort of things because cost effective solutions you're going to provide to the company and how much money you're going to save it okay suppose you are uh, i will give you some example suppose you are working in a is a is a mnc and uh, you uh, you are going to sell your products okay so you have to choose a, a, a instance like a high cpu utilization at the same time because the query is coming same time and the resolving of the query same time Okay, so you guys, you just create yeah, a simple instance and uh, and added the EBS as, SSD volume at the same time. But the matter of fact that what type of server you're choosing it. If you choose the storage best, but EC2 instance is not, not good. 
then there is a problem so you have to uh, be a very good capacity man management kind of stuff what kind of server you're choosing it what kind of storage you're choosing it and what type of uh, uh, data is uh, storing at the same time or which which scale so do you have, do you measure it at the same time because uh, once you, the ql is come uh, going to outside of the world it is charged the money and if you are uh, if, if you are uh, using the environment of uh, load balancer and high availability kind of stuff and uh, the auto scaling kind of things so it is very very important that what type of instances uh, are working at the same time so amazon ec2 uh, uses a public key cryptography decrypt and decrypt login informations public key cryptography uses a public key to encrypt a piece of data and the password when the recent uh, this appeared to uses the private key can decrypt the data the public and private keys are all known as key pair okay so key pair is also important because it is public key and private key <clears throat> using it and there are specific keys you can uh, go for it to access your servers so it's very secure we can say that uh, to log into your instances you must create a key pair specify the name of the key pair and launch instances and provide a private key when the connect is instances right so key pair is basically required is it like your password it is a public key private key but, uh, until unless you are not providing your pub, uh, your key pair okay to the uh, specific operating systems you cannot be logged into the same thing so the amazon security groups i already uh, talked to you that this is kind of firewall groups okay and you can just allow the traffic same time so uh, the the question is all about uh, what is the difference between security groups and network access list okay the network access list basically allow and deny the traffic but uh, security groups are allow the traffic like suppose uh, you are creating the mysql server and the mysql server has a different uh, port to access the same times like uh, like uh, uh, we can say that 1433 kind of port numbers you have to enable on the security groups then you then the query will be running same times so you can change the port number as well no problem whatsoever but uh, it is working suppose uh, you have created the instance like uh, linux instances and uh, you have to enable the port number 22 like ssh to uh, accessible from the outside okay when you launch an instance you associate one or more security groups with the same with the instance so you can have multiple options to enable at the same time you can add those to each security groups allow traffic in from the associate instances so we'll talk later on once we're going for the practical sort of things so you can easily understand but the matter of fact that you have to understand here is you to allow the traffic same time and you have multiple things you can add it security groups can specify only allow rules but no, not deny rules so this is the major difference because you have to only allow the rules you can create up to 500 security groups per regions you can add up to 100 rules to a security groups so these are some terms that you can use for the <clears throat> For interview purpose, also it is used for examination purpose at the same time. You can assign up to 500 security groups to an instance. It's a stateful responses to allowed inbound traffic and are also allowed to flow outbound regardless of outbound rules and voice, vice versa. Hence, the outbound rules are responses not needed. Okay, when you uh, use associate multiple security groups, for instance, the rules from each security groups are effectively agreed to the create website tools so we don't go how to further things so you can go for the protocols uh, steps most, co most common protocols tcp udb and icmp okay port range you can also define this different different kind of port range into this source and destinations where we have to uh, apply the uh, the security groups <coughs> elastic load balancing is uh, Automatically distributes the incoming application to uh, traffic across multiple availability zones. Is two instances enables used to achieve fault tolerance in your application, seamlessly providing a required amount of load balancing capacity to uh, uh, about tra application traffic. Elastic load balancing offers two types of load balancers that both uh, features high availability, uh, availability in uh, automatic scaling and the best security. So anyone. Uh, uh, could you please tell me that what is the use of load balancer in the practical life not about i'm not talking about the cloud i'm talking about the real scenario uh, load balancer basically distributes the uh, traffic among uh, different server or different resources so 
So suppose uh, there is a huge heat on the website, then uh, the uh, the load balancer basically distributes the heats or distributes the traffic among the resources among the servers which are available in our organization basically balances the basically balances the load yes yes you're right anyone any other idea so i will let you know the uh, in the the as per as per the real situation that uh, the load balance is providing the load right suppose uh, uh, you have create uh, your website in okay public website yeah, suppose you have created your own web start up your business and you have uh, have to sell the some online products into the uh, public environment right and uh, there are the number of queries coming same time number of queries and does your instances takes the high load same time number of queries coming to your uh, you know what web server same time so if we if we are uh, more capable we can say more capable suppose you have store uh, providing the you know what high cpu high cpu uh, kind of issue instances you have uh, you know what uh, fault tolerance kind of things you did it and you have doing a number of things into your server but does it uh, your is it two instances takes the high load same time not exactly because the number of request coming from the public okay and if you are if you not provide the elastic load balancer into your uh, is uh, ec2 instances then there's a huge huge traffic coming coming from the outside and your server is not able to understand the query same time and it will shows the 404 error database error same time the same thing is happened to the uh, flip card two or three years ago what happened because the number of queries coming big billion days coming they have launched the they, they have you know marketing the big billion day and the huge traffic coming coming from the outside world and at the same time their server is not uh, responding same time the, that was the incident happened this is the capacity management they have not done doing at the same time it is not possible that you have to go for the capacity management at the same time Month instance coming. So what you need to do it, you have to create an elastic load balance at the same time. The the, the traffic is coming um, um, in the in the you know what AWS environment. What you can do it in in the AWS environment, you can just go for the elastic load balance at the same time. You have got number of queries number of queries from the outside world. Okay, and then coming the queries coming into the AWS uh, elastic load balancer. The elastic load balancer then decide what needs to be done with this particular query okay so we in the electric load balancer there are three types of things that will be classic load balancer we can create application load balancer we can create and and uh, one one more uh, we can uh, create into the uh, electric load balancer also create we can so uh, you have to apply the application load balancer at the same time okay and you can define the policies you have uh, if you have to, uh, they should be 50% this this server 50% this server 50% this server okay and and the, in the aws you can do one more thing you have to uh, your server should be uh, always be auto scaling mode auto scaling mode once the the demand is coming when the queries is coming high and automatically create this number of servers same time two or three servers created same time or four servers created same time until unless the load is very high when the load is coming uh, less load then it is you know what coming into the same uh, two three servers it is deleted the uh, two or three servers same time so this is all about the high high availability the electric load balancer okay comes to the pictures we will talk later on this is you know what uh, for tolerance kind of things we can do it at the same point of time so elastic load balancer, we can say that the load is very high and distribute the load to the different different systems at the same time. So it queries running smoothly. So classic load balancer is ideal for simple and load uh, uh, simple load uh, balancing for uh, traffic across multiple two instances, while the application load balancer is ideal for applications needing advanced routing capabilities micro services and container based architectures the application load balancer offers ability to 
uh, load traffic to the multiple services or load balances across multiple ports on the same ec2 instances so once we going so it is also important what type of load balancer we are using it suppose you uh, you are using this load balancer on the web server so you have to ap always apply it on the application application load balancer same time in the application load balancer what type of traffic you're coming is the https traffic is the http traffic or what kind of traffic is all about so most of the times if your web server it is understand the http or https uh, traffic so you have to apply it on the application server which is std https kind of traffic and you create the policies as per requirement of your company okay amazon tax is also important luckily if you are uh, working on the it environment and uh, they are they are they are basically uh, you know what we can say that uh, asset tagging is also, also required so understand which was the asset is we are talking about same things because if you and your uh, you know what aws is used on the uh, most of the enterprise environment and enterprise environment have different different you know what number of servers number of instances number of things is, is working so you have to tag your uh, asset same time <clears throat> enables tag you to uh, categorize uh, your aws resources in the different ways for example by purpose owner and environment okay so uh, you can segregate different different kind of stuffs is purpose what's the purpose of this um, uh, tagging or what is the owner of this particular uh, asset and what type of environment it, it is used for tax restrictions maximum number of tax per resource 50 tax you can allocate like what type of approval you if any um, resources what type of approval you required what is asset tag number who's going to approve it different different kind of things you can just map the asset tags at the same time maximum key length is 127 unicode correct characters so you can just uh, write down 127 words right uh, maximum value of length 255 key uh, the tag keys are valuable for case sensitive do not use the uh, use the prefix in your tag names and values because it's reserved for aws users so whatever the aws uses their own asset tag so please don't use it you have to your own asset tag it's, it's mandatory okay <coughs> creating first is two instances so we will create it later on this is this is one now so all about is the practical things so let's move to the practical things So are you able, uh, are you guys able to see the screen? Hello? Yes, yes. We're able okay. to see. Okay, perfect. So, uh, dear friends, this is the, you know what, the AWS console, I think you are well, well aware of it. Okay. So uh, I will tell you that this is the history, and you will whatever you you think did it in your in your previous uh, sometime. So it will showing in the history, and these are the you know what the features, the compute features, the storage part, the database part, and developers, different different kind of things you will see into this particular console. So what you did, what you can do it is first of all you can just tag it what what things you required most of the times. Suppose I require the EC2 instances, you are going to tag it at the same time this is uh, the ec uh, ec2 so i'm going to here and i'm going to map it here okay and uh, uh, suppose i require some vpc kind of stuff so i'm going here and also But again, where it is, looks like yeah, this is there. It is the VPC is all about. So you can just uh, you know what uh, provide in your favorites. 
so you, it, you, it is very easy to accessible same time because you have to just click on EC2, you will find out your EC2 instances. So this is the uh, icons types. You can go for it if you well aware about the icons, what is all about. You can just easily understand. Yeah, this is EC2, this VPC, and uh, <clears throat> this is text only. What kind of things is all about? And this is also there it is. So uh, going here, wait a second. So, uh, dear friends, this is uh, the AC2 uh, console is available at the same time. And uh, this is, we are in the Mumbai region. This is the, some of the region also available. Okay. And the different region have different, different data centers available. Suppose if you're going to uh, North Virginia and North Virginia have their different, you know, what availability set is available. There's US locations. The US locations have four uh, availability zones, one, two, three, and four. Mom in the in the India, we are talking about this is Mumbai is one location, one region is also available, and Asia Pacific. This is four type of uh, you know what different different uh, regions available and different availability zones they were, and this is Europe stuff and North America regions. So you can just um, once you're going for creating any uh, EC2 instances or uh, whatever that is the features of AWS. So first of all, you have to go for the specific region and just check what kind of services are available into this particular um, region. Suppose some of the services are not able to find out in the different different regions. So region specific, we can say that. So you can go for it and uh, the different different region and you can just check it out. What kind of services are available into the different different regions. So as per you can just plan your architecture of the AWS, right? So we are in the in, so we are in the Mumbai region, right? And uh, these are the some you know what uh, the things label same terms running instances, dedicated host volumes, key pairs, placement groups. You will find out different different things here. So it's very easy. To easy. And this is the service health of the particular uh, you know what regions. Uh, so this is a Asia Pacific Mumbai is you know what the health is right. Okay, happy uh, available regions. This one is correct. This one also correct. That's great. So we are just going to create instances here. Okay, so this this is two dashboard. This is the events. What type of events is all about? <clears throat> okay, what type of instance and uh, the in, uh, events are uh, you have edited? This is your tax. We are just talking about earlier same time. So you can just manage your tax. You can just create your text 127 characters what is the value of this particular so this this also you can just go for the testing and reports this is this is to reports the usage of the report of your ec2 instances so we can go for later once we are going to create it and this is also the limits what type of limits how many how many number of you uh, instance you can create it what type of limit is also about suppose uh, this is the running on initial instances is 20 limits is also provide so you, if you want to because we are using the t2t here this is a free uh, you know environment so we have a specific limits also about and if you are you know running on the corporate environments then you have request to limit increase your limit same times so different different kind of limits also about is this is mentioned here okay this is uh, uh, this is the R3 large instances. Mahesh, the tags are applied to uh, where? Any instances or any event where? And instances, yeah, easy to instances. Different, different instances, different, different features which you're uh, going to use it. Uh, I will, uh, once, once we're creating the any easy to instance, I will let you know. Wait a second, wait a second. Just understand the things. So this is a load balancing kind of stuff. So you, how much number of things you can create into this? If you want to increase, if you have used 20 and if you're going for the 21, you have to request a limit in the same time. The auto scaling groups, the launch configurations. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, sorry. so this is a VPC. We can create five number of VPCs here. Three of course, if you're going for the more than that, we have to go for the request the limit because it's a TT T two tier. So most of the times, uh, we are landing at the same time, and we have to go for the free tier. Uh, you know what? Uh, for one year, right? 
so we always uh, go for prefer the five pieces we can create same times subnet how many number of we have to create 200 number of uh, subnets we can create it security groups different different things you can just take it take a look as per your required is it easier to like, classic elastic ip so we can create five number of things and if you go more than that then you have to go for the request limit so this is the instances right <clears throat> We are talking about so we can create the instance from here as well and we can also create the dashboard going to dashboard and we can also create that uh, instances the other different different ways we can create and so first thing is quick start and these are the some you know what recommendations from the uh, aws to use this particular type of uh, amazon machine images right uh, so if you just look at here free tier eligible so you can use this, this particular uh, images Operating systems for the your T2 tier free uh, for the architecture. This is the free tier, right? So whatever is, is, is you have find out the free tier eligible, you can use this particular image for learning. But once you're going for the corporate environment, so whatever the requirement of your company and what is the requirement uh, of your client, so you can go for it as as per them, right? Okay. So uh, so once more. So my images, once you're going to create your snapshot or whatever the kind of things in the AWS, suppose you are create your own instances of EC2 and you have provide some ABS volume same types and you have just uh, you have just taken the snap, snapshot of your instance same same types like mirroring the uh, mirroring the snapshot operating systems. So it will it will be here. So you can use this particular EC2 uh, snapshot for the different EC2 instances. Like if you are working on the uh, VMware environment, in the VMware environment, we are taking the snapshot, right? Snapshot, why we are going to use a snapshot? It is for the further use, for the future use, okay? So you have created your EC2 instance and then you have terminated or stopped this particular um, EC2 instance and the images are here, Amazon machine images also here. So you can create your EC2 again and you can add this particular image to your system and the same Mirroring kind of services steps is also available for your future use. So AWS Marketplace is, is there. AWS Marketplace, there, there are a number of things you can find out into the AWS, right? So there are the multiple 1042 product business software, developer tools, and infrastructure software. So you will find out different, different kind of things. <coughs> Sorry. So the AWS is a platform where you can use uh, uh, different different tools and techniques and business software informatica or different different business intelligence tools but you have to pay for it right so that all sort of things you will find out in the particular uh, aws but you have to how to effectively you can use it how much cost we have to go for it so migrations things 41 products are available high performance computing 211 products are available database and caching for your product testing testing it into products so once we are going for any you know what production kind of stuff first of all you have to create the test environment right if you are creating a test environment first of all uh, test all sort of stuff and then you can move to the particular you know, the same instance into the production if you are working on the vmware before first of all the other two types of things we are creating in the vmware the test environment and the production environment once your test environment is working fine absolutely then the same things we have to move to the uh, production environment same times so that is the you know use cases you can use it because most of the companies are using the same kind of stuff so community emis uh, this is the, the different different emis also available so you can use it <coughs> the flavors operating systems this is called a uh, machine images amazon machine images the amazon machine images it means that it is a pre-configured images from the IWS, right? So you can use to your EC2 instances to running an instance same time, okay? And also we are here, if you are looking for the operating systems and you will find out the number of operating systems here. So whatever your company requirement, whatever uh, your, your client is requirement, you just go for it. This is the architecture 32 bit or 64 bit root device is also is available into this, this is abs volumes you want the instance store you want 
so you are uh, so how capable you are into the aws cloud right it is very very important so for the cost effective solutions or or whatever you're going to do it so suppose this is this one uh, free tier eligible okay we are going to select it we also select uh is it uh, linux flavors as, as well no problem whatsoever so this is general purpose this is also showing this saying that you can also use this one right but it will charge money same time but if you're going for this ac2 general purpose and it's free tier eligible t2 micro okay so uh, there is no billing for this particular thing right and then they are this, the what type of we have already talked talk, talked about that what type of uh, uh, servers you choose this is general purpose kind of things this is compute high compute things required high gpu is required memory optimized servers required storage optimized servers required so all things are available on the single console so you can just click it here and there's a storage kind of thing is available if you require some high gaming kind of console you require this kind of things servers available if you require some high memory utilizations you can go for this one right so you have options available so if you're going for the ec2 instances price calculator you will find out what type of servers and <clears throat> so I, suppose i will say I'll show you it's second aws price calculator <coughs> sorry so what is the price of the particular uh, instances you can just take a look here so ec2 is is there this is not virginia location so you can just go for the mumbai location or whatever the, the locations you would like to go for it this is my locations and this is the ad features also available and you can just uh, uh what ec2 instances okay uh, how much how many number of instances required and usage hundred percent number of locations is you required some on demand or you required some reserved instances or what this is upfront three years one year three years one year three years three years so you can just go for commitment as per your company required as per your, your requirement and we are just talking about here is linux on t1 micro you can just change the server as per your requirement <clears throat> so select the instances uh, type so windows flavors sql web servers enterprise so different different kind of you know what uh, as have servers available okay so suppose you're going for the windows flavors and this uh, this is the type of servers and this is the pricing showing is there right so you you can just calculate what type of server you required what what is the price of the server what is user use cases of the server well where you have to you have to use is the particular server so this this is the things so we can go for it suppose if you are choosing the windows on c4 last server and it is charged you monthly 56 562.18 kg 18 okay so you can uh, different services if you suppose you're going for the s3 bucket suppose you're going for the amazon dot 53 so number of features are available so you, as per your features you can just <clears throat> suppose you require some sub aws support so you can also mm, so basic is free okay and developers start from 29 dollars usd month per month and suppose you are using for the business purpose uh, suppose you're using for the enterprise purpose so you have to just calculate all sort of things free website on aws so you can also go for it and just check the aws free websites also you can go for it so host your website for free is no pricing is there so you can also uh, you know what provide your code and you can just create your own website for one year that is it is uh, you know what free of sure and this is the <coughs> report mumbai pacific easy 2 s3 rds these are the some prices you will just find out okay because once we're going for you know what forecasting you going for the capacity management okay it is it is must required because uh you if you have checked my previous you know what uh, videos in the first video we are just talking about some benchmarking of uh, your hardware or your or your software okay so you can just go for the benchmarking kind of stuff where, where you can just look at all sort of things yeah this is the price this is the price this is the price and as per your prices you can just compare your physical hardware structure or physical so you can just come yeah, differentiate both things and you can then you can take a wise decision for the future right 
so uh, so most of the times aws is using for your you know future things is you know what and this is we, we are talking about the service types here and then we're going for the current generations so this is all generations also we have some current generations also if you're talking about same thing is available right and if you're talking if you're talking about just general purpose t2 micro and this this is the configuration t2 micro okay one cpu is available 2.5 gigahertz is intel Xeon family and also one gig memory and abs only okay so these are the configurations if you choose different servers the you, you will find out some different things is available there and what you will find out uh, this one a virtual cpu yeah it's a one server one cpu memory is one okay one slot is there and instance gb abs only and log and moderate and ip version 6 yes it is supportable ip version 6 as well okay so the, we are in the second time choose instance then we go going for the configure instances okay so number of instances it means that the third thing is how many number of instances required so you have to slide down this one we have required 10 servers same type of servers so provide your plan so your 10 server is, is running same time so it is very flexible approach you know what very flexible you how many number of servers are required you can just create in the you know what five, <clears throat> two to three minutes uh, you just create your own your different different servers suppose you're providing the 10 number of servers same times it will take only five to six minutes okay and it will uh, running your 10 instances at same time but uh, the 750 hours you know what if you calculate the 750 hours uh, dividing into the particular 10 servers that is the freak of cost if you, it is run, running more than 750 hours it will charge the money same times okay so you will take the uh, you know what uh, uh, this type of decision that uh, what needs to be done right and launch an auto scaling group auto scaling group it may we'll just talk about later on auto scaling what is about in the very depth manner but auto scaling scaling you can say that uh, the servers are increase and decrease as per the requirement as per the demand so the traffic comes to the pub, uh, load balancer and then load balancer send traffic to the auto scaling group the auto scaling group suppose we have three servers in into the serve in environment right now and your load is very high from the public right and suppose you require your requirement is required six servers same time so the three servers are increased same time for the for the specific uh you know what uh, uh load and if the load is uh, comes low and then it is comes again three servers same time okay so your 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 load is a uh, load is you know what uh distributed in a different different server and your queries will be will be, will be working working fine and there is no you know what uh, disturb or services at the same time okay okay the second options we if you're talking about the purchasing options so the request on the support options so on demand request uh, we will just talk uh, into this particular second console that we're talking about wait a second i will show you So we have different different options available, right, dear friends? Uh, if you're just looking at this particular launch, uh, reserved instances, dedicated host and capacity reservations. So uh, we'll uh, uh, on the spot instances, whatever the prices would be, and the save time, you will have to pay for it. Okay. And reserved instances, it is it is you know what commitment for the one year or three years. So you can just go for it uh, as per your company need at, at, at your requirement. So purchasing reservations, you can just uh, what type of survey requirement, what to micro, different different things, and you can just go for the cart. Okay. Suppose you require some different kind of kind of things, and you can just search it here, and it will show you the pricing same same time. AWS, if you're going for the 12 months, yeah, 36 months for three years. So, uh, uh, dear friends, you will just find out as per your requirement, right? So, going for that to card options, okay? If you want to, uh, this is the default tenancy. It means that the rack is available and different different uh, clients, different. If you have one so uh, one rack is available and the different different uh, VMs you can create, it, but you require a, your own physical uh, hardware. So you can go for dedicated server, right? So there is uh, there is no issues happen, but it will cost you very high. 
okay so you can choose whatever thing is all about yeah we require a convertible we required payment options we required some portion of upfront we have to pay for it terms we required 12 36 months yeah we required some different servers here yeah, this uh, are for large and you can search it <clears throat> okay so it's depend on the what type of server you required what type of purchasing options you required so you will just take the decision by by the dedicated host suppose you required some exchange kind of stuff so you required some domain control kind of stuff so you can al allocate a specific host or dedicated dedicated host it means that this is a rack <clears throat> okay in this rack there's a virtual instance of vmware is going on and you will find out the specific location okay and but if you going for the dedicated options you will use your own rack and in this your your rack you will create your instances so it's your full hardware is yours so there is no downtime at, at this at this time because there is no different client is uh, client vms is uh, available it's your physical servers available and they will take care of it okay but it is little high chargeable yeah so you can just take a, uh, a default and dedicated servers chargeable on the particular uh, AWS, you can just talk to the talk to them and create capacity reservation. So you can, what type of capacity you will have to create? So you can just mention over over there, basically. Yeah, we required some different different servers, different different point of time. So you can just going for the capacity management reservations for the future. Suppose I will provide you example like in uh, the in the November. Uh, a month of uh, of in india it's in delhi locations uh, there is specific uh, uh, trade fair is going on so there is a very high traffic is, is there so you can go for the you know what uh, uh, the capacity that we required at least five to six servers same time on the one one or two months right and after that we don't 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 require it so in the one year on the we can go for the capacity management that we required two or three more servers when the high demand is coming into the picture okay so this is the type of instances we can create it so we are here <clears throat> so we are going here again and you can choose uh, any any instances uh, uh, windows or <clears throat> linux whatever so it's ready okay this one then we have to go for the configuration this right okay we have to stock this one this one networking what type of ppc you have created you can just only simply select here select here and if you have not created your instances till now or vp still now you can just create a new vpc here submit because all the vpc are connected via a sub specific subnet to talk to the private or public communications so uh, you can just choose wisely that what type of things required so it is a, it's we have created previous classes that test vpc and it is test you know what um, submit is also already mapped into this so do you require auto assign public ip address if your server talking to the outside of the world you can just enable it it is automatically takes the public ip at the same time okay Placement group add uh, instance for placement any group. So we have to require some adding some instances in the future or not. So it is depend on this. Which, which grouping you are, it's it's a part of this particular instance. Reservation capacity, it's open right now because we have not created any reservations for the future specific. Okay. Domain joint dictionary, we have not created any domain domain like this, so it is not not directory. IAM roles, identity access management roles, we have not providing any, uh, you know what, users into the IAM. So we are going uh, <clears throat> some more classes for IAM when, when we are going to create some, you know what, users into the particular uh, AWS and uh, how they are access the AI, AWS console. We will create later on, but it's a, it's a user-based approach. Shutdown behavior, we are just talking about here. If you're going to stop this particular or we have to go to terminate the particular things. So you have to write down the options available. <clears throat> this is also important feature enable termination production product against accidental terminations. If you click yes. So once you are going to stop or terminate, it will ask you that it is a product. 
it is protect against the oxygenator termination so you have to click this particular options and then it will be going to term, uh, terminate your session uh, particular uh, uh, particular uh, ec2 instances same time again the thing is uh, we will show later on once with our instance ready then it is the option will be showing on so it is basically says that if accidentally anyone can uh, you know what shut down your ec2 instance so it is protect your accidental termination of your instances okay that that is only use of it and monitoring it's basically a few uh, cloud watch is also providing some uh, data, data information about this particular thing so you can use it additional apply will be charge tenancy is basically sh shared or dedicated so you can use for shared if, if your instance is required a dedicated a specific hardware specific rack is also available there t2 unlimited if you go for the additional charges will be coming after that after, the, after that this you can sort of also enable it then go we have to go for the storage so what type of storage you can add it add volumes device different different things and then general purpose ssd or different different things and if you would like to add some more uh, <clears throat> volumes so it is abs volumes or uh, added and uh, what type of size is you add some 50 gb or different different size you can also create this is secondary this is primary and this is your secondary and what type of ssd required you just providing magnetic standard classic code and if we were talking about in the once we're going for the abs we will talk later on all sort of steps but at the same point terms this is what type of do you would like to add and terminate delete on termination so you have to click here or not it's also dependent if you click on the particular options table once you're going to terminate delete for termination it is also terminated or it is also deleted same time but if you not click here then we have to manually delete the particular ssd this is particular abs volumes manually so this is the tag we can also provide some you know what a tag is basically <coughs> it's our test server and you can provide a value is one or two whatever the thing is then you provide some security groups security groups this is the windows server so windows server always takes rdp and the port number 3389 if you would like to access a particular thing so go for it add custom and you have different different protocols available <clears throat> these are different different things available so you can allow all always like a security groups is basically how do how you how does this server will be accessible suppose it's, it's a web server so go for it as https http and it is also capable from it so what type of rules how can we access the particular things so this is the things if you would like to go for the anywhere my ip address so you can just providing the rules as per your requirement <clears throat> okay go for it and then launch so you can you can just review all sort of things and then we, we, are, we are going to launch the server so it's a key pair we are just talking about earlier create a new key pair and this is mk and you can just uh, download the key okay so it is required once you it's, it's a public key right so you have to download it Okay. It is it is going to hang at the same time.
yeah this is 80 that's why it is saying that this is your improve your instances security security group so it is give, give us warning same time okay it is not created so we are just going to create same time wait a second it's very hard here Download keep here. Second, there is some uh, issues happening. That is why. That is why we don't have to do anything into this. We have to configure some security groups there. So uh, we are just uh, mo modify some security groups that that is the requirement uh, at tax. Yes, it's a custom <coughs> that we have to go to anywhere, right? Uh, if you have existing security groups, you can just add it and then you can launch. Create a chosen existing. Now we can create it, or we can just you know what proceed with the without key pair. But it is this is height actually. Okay, so you can just create uh, the same kind of things, and uh, we, will, we will do later on tomorrow. Yesterday, tomorrow, we will uh, doing the further things. So you can just also create the particular EC2 instances, right? And uh, let me know if any uh, issues you you find it. Then we will going to. Uh, uh, troubleshoot it right so any 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 uh, you know what we can say that <clears throat> confusion on any uh, anything you would like to ask me at the same time uh, so uh, just uh, you also just try create, create the, some VPC and then just try it out okay tomorrow and uh, we will uh, do further things perfect yeah sure okay thank you for your uh, nice uh, thank you for your nice support okay uh, thank you very much <clears throat>